Hi guys, my name is Srinya Tamna. I'm in sixth grade and I'm in Woodrow Swimming School. So today's topic is matrix. So we're going to be learning some matrix, use two matrix using Vedic math. So let's do it now. So the first trick we're going to be doing is we're going to be using two digit multiplication. And the other one is we're going to be doing squaring, squaring numbers ending in five. So we're going to be doing these topics today. So now let's do first do this, then we'll do this. Two, one, I'll just write that, okay? So let's start. So two digit multiplication. So pretend I have this problem, 32 times 21. You said, oh yeah, I just need to go to the calculator to solve this problem. But wait, 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 wait. Before you do that, listen to this first. This may be more easier for you than just going to the calculator. Because maybe the internet may be slow and you can't solve this problem. But look at this math path and this may help you. So now let's solve this. So first you need to do two times one, go down. Two times one is two, so write that there. Now, you need to do the X method, the cross method or X method, whatever, whatever. So then, you need to do three times one. So first, then you need to do this, three times one, which is three, so write the three there. And then, you need to do two times two. Two times two is four, so three, we need to do three plus four. Four plus three is seven, right guys? So seven. Write seven all the way there. Now, we need to do three times two, which is like that. Three times two is six, right? So we need to write six here. So 32 times 21 is 672. Now let's do another one, and I'm gonna tell you guys to solve this one. Guys, this may be a little bit challenging, but I'll help you guys out. So seven times two is obviously 14, right guys? So 14, go right run there, go carry forward the one and right to it. So we have to do that. Then remember the X method again. Now we need to do six times two. Six times two is 12. So you need to write 12 here. Then you need to write, then you need to do um, se seven times seven. Seven times seven is seven, 14, 20, 20, 30, 40, 49, right? So 49. 49 plus 12, six, 61. So it's 61. Now, you, you remember that one you carry for, right? You need to add it to the 61. Then 61 would be 62. So now, since you did that, since we have this remaining, we need to carry for the six, and then we need to write two there, since it's 62. Now, 7, 40, 21, 20, 30, 30, 42. We need to do six times seven. And the answer is 42. So we need to add 42 plus 6. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. 48 is the answer for that. So the answer for 67 times 72 is 4,824. It's so easy, right? You can just do it in less than 20, 30 seconds. Now let's do squaring numbers and then in five. This is our last topic. So let me just erase this. So now this trick only works for numbers ending with five. So, so pretend we have to do 30, 35. It will work for these type of numbers and 45 square. It won't work for 22 square. No, that's another method. So, so now let's do, do study for the 35 square. So the first thing you need to do is three times. So let's focus on, we need to do this first. So. The number that comes after 3 is 4. So we need to do 3 times 4, which is which is 12, right guys? So 12. Now let's do, now 5 times 5. The 5 stays the same. So 5 times 5 is 25. So 35 squared is 1225. Easy guys. You don't need to use the calculator for this. You can just use this method. But it only works for numbers ending in 5 remember. Don't use it for other numbers. So now let's do another one. So let's do this one now, three digit. For three digit, you need to do this. 
So you can't just do that, that, and that. You need to do this first. So 10 times 11, which is 1, 1, 10, 110. Now let's do 5. 5 times 5 is 25. So 105 squared is 100. So 105 squared is this. So guys, this is the answer for this. Now do you so guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, smash the like button and we'll see you all next time. Bye and thank you for 600 subscribers.